Welcome back guys. So after HSC, I really wanted to start a gardening project in my backyard. And as you can see here, the yard is pretty bare and doesn't really have much life in it. So after talking with my family a little bit more, we decided to try starting our own little vegetable patch. Our first step was to get rid of all the dead grass in my yard. And then after that, we moved on to cutting the overgrown plants at the back. I was particularly glad to have these chopped up since they were pretty sharp and pointy but we didn't exactly have the right tool for the job as well since the leaves were just so long and thin it just went around the blades instead of being cut through. I kind of just kicked back and watched my dad do the work for a while uh, but then after a while I got a little bit guilty and started picking up the cut up leaves um, which to be honest got a little bit annoying by the end given how sharp they were. And this is the finished product. All that was left to do was wait for our grass to be delivered so we could start covering our backyard. My first time rolling grass and for some reason I thought it'd be super super hard but turns out it was actually the opposite since it's pretty much just rolling out a rug on the floor except I guess a lot dirtier. Um, my dad also gave me some advice to step on the edges a bit to flatten out the curves a bit. The overall process was super satisfying though since this was the first time in months that I've seen my backyard have this much grain in it. The whole time that we were rolling out grass, my dad and I were trying to figure out if we had ordered enough, but it wasn't looking too good since we were getting our last wheelbarrow and there was still a whole section that didn't have grass on it yet. So we decided to roll it out horizontally and figure out what to do with that space a bit later. Our initial plan was to have the veggie patch planted in that small strip of dirt in the back and then have the grass meet the wooden plank, but given the circumstances we had to think differently. After looking at it a bit longer we realised that we could just move the wooden plank forwards to meet the grass and this way we were able to use the space to have a much bigger veggie patch. But actually doing this proved difficult again since the sides of the horizontal plank were attached to the vertical planks which meant we needed to use a chainsaw to detach it. When using a chainsaw, you also don't want to hit the dirt underneath the plank, which is why I had to hold the plank up with a pick. And then this was also my first time using a chainsaw, and I was so terrified. I kept stopping and starting it and not properly engaging it. But overall, I think it went pretty smoothly. Oh, yeah! And you did a good job. <laughs> Look how perfectly you've cut that. That's awesome. That's it. That's better than mine. No, seriously, look at it! Look how straight you cut that! Oh my god! As well as that, we realised that the plank actually had these long stakes under it which secured it to the ground, which meant that we had to dig a trench along the grass deep enough for the stakes to go in firmly. And in the places that the stakes had to go in, we also had to dig a deeper hole than the trench itself, which took the longest time out of everything since there were heaps and heaps of rocks and especially the really really big rocks that you can't really dig through and there was also hardened clay underneath the deeper that you went which we had to get through with a shovel but after a while it just kind of got a bit too annoying so we just took the shortcut and shortened the stake with a chainsaw. After the wooden plank was put in we raked the dugout dirt back into the trenches to secure the plank into the ground. This is the final result. First we had dead grass, then dirt, and now precious green grass. Our garden bed is also now nice and wide, which is ready for us to plant some more veggies. We're thinking stuff like lettuce, tomato, corn, and possibly some spinach and beetroot on it as well. To top it all off, we let the grass soak in some water to make sure it becomes rooted in the ground. My mum and I then set off to Bunnings to buy some equipment and seeds for our garden. I am somewhat familiar with how to garden since I went to an agricultural school, but I still have no idea what this weird pitchfork thing does. Oh, yeah. 
Next up was gloves, and it was so hard not to buy gloves for the aesthetic look of it, but that was reserved for my watering can. The colour and design of this can was so, so pretty that I absolutely had to buy it. Then was my favourite part. Seeds. Here my mum and I looked through a bunch of different flowers, vegetables and herbs, and then we bought some labels which you could put next to each plant. Before we started planting, I drew a little picture under each plant title to make it a little bit more interesting. Also, there's absolutely no filter on this clip. This is just how insane the bushfires are in Australia right now. Hopefully we'll get some rain soon to put them all out. We wanted to reserve the pots and the potting mix for our herbs since it's a smaller area for our smaller plants. Then we got on to watering it and then moved on to our main garden bed. We got this seed mat which has five different rows of seeds and it makes it super easy to plant since you just have to bury the whole thing. And that's it. All our seeds are now underground and all that's left to do is to wait. It's about three or four weeks since we planted our seedlings and this is what they look like now. These are our herb pots. We used a seed mat for our parsley, which is probably why it's looking so circular. And our coriander and basil are going the best out of our herbs since all the seeds are sprouted and greened. However, when there is the strongest, there is also a weakest of the lot, which is the rosemary. We just don't know how to grow this at all. If you have any tips, please put them down in the comments below. Rocket has also been our strongest plant in our garden because it's just so green and bushy but because it's so green and bushy it's actually been taking sunlight away from our spinach which is why they are so small. Our kale is also starting to be eaten up by caterpillars which isn't too good but we don't really know what to do about it as well. And our beetroot has this amazing red stem on it which is super cool to see. And our corn, which is what I'm really excited about, looks like an actual corn, which is super exciting since it feels like we're actually doing something right in this garden for once. And our tomatoes haven't grown any fruits yet, but the leaves are starting to look pretty good. And the lettuce is also a really, really good bright green. Every morning I water the plants using our really aesthetic watering can and right now I have to refill this once to water our whole garden but I suspect that I'm going to need to refill it more once our garden starts growing a little bit bigger. I've actually been really enjoying this process since the sound of the water on the leaves and the soil is super relaxing and I get really excited every morning to see how our little plants are going. The one bad thing about it is that the watering can gets really really heavy since it's 10 litres. That's it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed watching my family and I turn our garden around into the little greenery that it is now. Hopefully it inspired you to get out there and plant a little garden for yourself as well. I plan to keep you guys updated on our gardening progress so keep a lookout on this channel for that. Thank you guys so much for watching and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye!